How's it going everybody? So, ordered our first bidet toilet seat. It's from Brondel or Brundel. I don't know how you say it. So there we go. B-R-O-N-D-E-L-L. -L. And it says, wash, don't wipe. Swash. Advanced bidet seat. Uh, fragile electronic device, do not drop. And yeah, I mean, this is, this is how it comes. We got this from Costco.com. It was $189. We went in the store to see if they had this and possibly if it was cheaper than their website or same price. Uh, no, they had a different brand that was like 300 and something dollars, like $399. And it, same features, well, it had a remote. We don't want a remote. That seems silly personally. So anyways, let's take a look at this. This is just an unboxing video, not an install video that will be coming. So we open it up. We're here to help if you have questions regarding the use or installation of your product. Give our live customer support team a call. 1-888-542-3355 we bought this. It's not sponsored, but this is what it says. Support at Brundell.com. So supposedly there is support. And the cat here is probably going to want to jump in the box. Are you going to want to jump in the box? It's an awesome box. I'll save it for you after. So we got directions here. Win a Brundell products. Okay. I guess maybe there's a contest or something. I don't know. Owner's manual. A swash. CL1500 advanced bidet seat. Yeah, it's a big thick book too. You don't get manuals often anymore. That's pretty nice. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at that because you simply don't get manuals in this day and age. So yes, it's a it's a manual in various languages, but still it's a manual. And bye bye kitty. Let's see, that opens up. This looks like our fittings. Stainless braided line. Hmm, another type of fitting here. So we'll be figuring all this out, obviously. And I'll bring you that in the install. So in the side pocket, got all those tools. Take that out and just remove it. And I uh, wanted to buy it from Costco. That way we could return it if there's an issue, you know. Uh -huh. There we go. It's pretty low profile. The one at the store was much, much taller here. Going to have an attachment, obviously, to hook it to the holes. Um, that's probably what... This piece is so I'm guessing looks like double-sided tape or something and that might be somehow that slides on I'm guessing again installation video figure all that out that detaches it this is the cord okay so it's on the right side when you look at the toilet there's a ground here. That's quite interesting. <laughs> mm, well, this cord is grounded. Maybe in some countries or something, I'm going to read. Maybe you have to have an extra ground. I don't know. The back side. So, again, just a Brundell CL 1500 EW. It's waterproof to IPX4, made in Korea. So if you're wondering if it's made in China, nope, made in Korea. And you open it up. I'm hoping this is the elongated model. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, okay. So the lid, 
back and fold up. There, there we have that. A speck of water. I'm guessing from testing. I would hope. <laughs> Not a return, no. There's too many stickers in place for it to be a return. So let's see what it says here. Residual moisture on the swash is normal. Oh, see, that answers my question. Every swash is tested with pure water to ensure quality and performance. So I saw water, they had tested it. Do not plug the swash in while it is upside down as it may damage the product. Okay, that makes sense. The T valve connects to the fill valve directly under your toilet tank. Okay, so you connect that T valve that was in the pack to the fill of the toilet. And then I'm guessing the line from your water goes to the T valve. And the T valve will go off to this. You must be seated with skin contact on the swash for the wash and dry functions to work. So it's going to know if you're seated. So it must have a sensor in here. If you're not seated, it ain't just going to spray out. You know? So you can't have a kid being playing with the toilet or, well, I don't know if an animal would be able to press the button, but you never know. You must be seated, okay. Only connect the swash to a GFCI grounded outlet on a minimum of 15 amp circuit. I think we're good there. That's basically a standard circuit. Here's the control. So you got stop, you got your rear, you got your front for the ladies. <laughs> Unless you want a tickle for the guys. You got a strong spray. And that might be pressed a few times, I don't know. You got a dry, you got a pulse, a uh, gentle, you got nozzle position so you can move the nozzle further out or back depending where your uh, circle is. <laughs> you got your seat temperature, it looks like three different settings there. You got your water temperature, it looks like three different settings there. You got your eco mode and you got your nozzle cleaning. So it looks like everything. Um, that almost looks like an IR infrared remote, but this didn't come with a remote. Maybe you can add one. I don't know. That's just what it looks like to me why you would have that spot. And yeah, that is uh, pretty much it. This is your water inlet so the line's going to come in it looks like it it rotates yeah, probably facing down or so and i guess my thing will be if it fits on our all one piece toilet that's what we're kind of concerned of so here we have the brundell cl1500 i think it was dash cw uh, I'll have the link in the description to wherever I can find it, if I can find it on Amazon too, so you don't have to be a Costco member. But like I said, it was $189. That was the sale price. Well worth trying. I'm going to try it on one toilet. We'll probably do an extension cord before I go through and wire the house. Use the extension cord probably for, I don't know, a few months to six months, and then I will wire in an outlet. And we'll probably actually do our half bath here for when you walk in the entryway because that one I've already scoped out and will be the easiest to access to add a outlet. <laughs> Real easy, basement's right below, unfinished because of the furnace room and I'll just come up and there's a wire not too far away I can tie into for the sprinkler box. I'll just make sure it's a GFCI grounded outlet, which no big deal, I think I have a box of them still and just all installed behind the toilet that way you know can't get shocked it will just trip it you know be on the safe side do it right understand your how to wire something it's really not that hard but just do it correctly if you can't do it get a professional and if you've already scoped out and have an idea where it would be easiest to install that would be the probably the minimum cost for somebody to come do it versus I know some of our other areas 
will be a little bit more challenging and involved. And uh, yeah, so start in an easy area if you have it and or do what I'm doing with an extension cord. Actually, my one buddy, I think he just runs his off an extension cord. He's like, that way if I move, I just take it with me and, you know, but you know, single person living in a place, it's much different than being married, kids and an extension cord going across your bathroom floor. So anyways, here it is and check out the install video later. Hopefully this helps you out on deciding something other than toilet paper. Have a good one and stay safe and stay well, my friends. Bye.